in pearl culture before going towards the culturing of pearls uh, what is a pearl pearl is an oldest known gem being used in ornament pearl in some cultures are known for their medicinal qualities especially the chinese who use them to cure ailments like cardiac disease indigestion and some type of fevers it is also being used in many ayurvedic medicines though pearl oyster has no nutritive importance here the pearl produced by them have greater commercial importance now introduction of pearl culture we have already discussed that pearl are unique as the only gem it is produced from a living organism now the structure the pearl is the structure which is secreted by the mantle of pearl oyster the organism which secreted or produced a pearl is called pearl oyster and it produced the pearl in response to an irritation or in response to some foreign stimuli we will explain it later now the definition of pearl culture pearl culture can be defined as the cultivation of pearl under un, under controlled condition in an oyster placed in a seabed for some years about the history of pearl culture we can see that in 1890 kokichi mikimoto established an oyster farm at taba island in japan he did not get positive result in the beginning but in 1893 he succeeded in producing half pearl called maps and uh, later through several research he patented this method of producing pearl today mikimoto is known as the father of pearl industry whereas in india the central marine fisheries research institute cmfri in 1959 result in production of first cultured pearl on 25th july 1973 now india is a world leader in pearl oyster research and development and share its knowledge and information with other pearl producing countries next the organisms which are producing pearl the organisms generally belongs to bivalve mollusk and they are marine as well as fresh water these are some of the organisms which produces a good quality of pearl, uh, pearl it may be of marine type or of fresh water molasses next pearl oyster pearl oyster belongs to the genus pink tada pink tada this is the taxonomical classification of pearl oyster and it belongs to the genus pink tada we can say apart from pink tada there are large number of other marine and fresh water molluscs which also produces pearl of pearl like concentration but the pink tada produces a gem quality pearl there are uh, some 70 pearl producing molluscs in molluscian species out of which 28 species belong from the genus pink tada next the structure of pearl oyster The most cultured pearl oyster is Pink Tada Maxima, which produces silver color pearls. This is the structure of a classified structure, uh, labeled well labeled structure of uh, this uh, pearl oyster. Now, moving toward the outermost layer, if we see this uh, uh, structure, we can sh- see that the outermost layer is the shell, and then there is a layer is called mantle. mental and in between mental and the shell there is a layer called the mother of the pearl that is nacre now we will understand these parts more broadly this is structure this is the ts of a shell and mental this part is the shell and this is the mental part okay the body of the oyster is extremely surrounded by two lateral fleshy lobes called mental this part this has two lobe called fleshy lobe called mental both the lobes are attached dorsally to the body and enclose a bilateral complex cavity called mental cavity mental secrete the shell on its outside this mental only secrete the cells this part shell on its outside now the cells secreted by the mental consist of three different layers this cell has three different layer first layer is called periostracum 
first layer is called periostractum the second layer is called perismatic and the third layer is called necrosis layer this necrosis layer is also known as the mother of the pearl this necrosis layer of the cell is secreted by the whole surface of the mantle while the remaining two layer this two layer remaining this two layer is secreted by the edge of the mantle only and this is the part which is only responsible this part and this necre secreting cells which is secreting this necrosis this necre secreting cell is only responsible for pearl formation in this part of the mantle that is in the connective tissue of the mantle now we can uh, now describe the stages in pearl formation there are three stages of pearl formation it is an pearl formation is an abnormal response in fact formation of pearl occur as a result of defensive response of the oyster whenever any foreign object such as sand grain or eggs or microorganisms find enter entry into the body of oyster and reaches between the shell and mantle the mantle epithelium gets stimulated and surround the intruder completely you can see that the foreign body is entering towards the mantle this is the connective part connective tissue part of the mantle and a foreign body it may be a sand or some kind of parasite it enters into into the body then the uh, mental part uh, that is the this part the necre uh, secreting cells it gets stimulated against that uh, parasite or that antigen and forms this necre secreting part uh, forms a surrounding and this necreous part this necreous part the mother of the pearl of the cell and if this when it forms a surrounding in the within the connective tissue this pearl formed by the secretion around the foreign body this pearl is formed around the around this foreign body this mechanism is to oh, it it is a part of its immune system to protect itself to protect its body from any kind of damage from this foreign body and thus produce a pearl when uh, after when uh, the mental epithelium gets stimulated and surround the intruder completely this this has surrounded it completely now the mental epithelium starts secreting concentric layer of nacre around the intruder it uh, started secreting this part is secreting the nacre part and when it forms the whole part around the foreign body it again started secreting the nacre nacreous layer surrounding the body in due course of time several layers of nacre are secreted resulting in the formation of pearl and by this process stage by stage stage 1 2 and 3 a pearl is formed within 3 to 4 years with a, within a pearl oyster body now the main steps of pearl culture there are these are the following steps such as collection of pearl oyster preparation of graft tissues preparation of nucleus insertion of nucleus rearing of oyster and harvesting of pearls this all includes in the pearl culture technology which we will see in our next slide okay thank you